Hi vlog, welcome back. It is Friday, July 12th, 5 p.m. I'm about to go to a workout class. It's a bar class and it's officially, I guess, the first thing in the trip prep. I leave on Tuesday, the 16th, for my little annual Euro summer trip. And I know you guys like to see the behind the scenes of like how I prep for my trips and the packing. So everything's gonna be in this video. Like I said, I'm going to a workout class now. I just finished work. Then I have an event with Patron, which seems so iconic, so I can't wait to take you guys. It's tonight, it's at 9 though, my working class is at 6, and then tomorrow is a lot of appointments, and then after that, packing. So yeah, I thought I'd show you guys, I've shown you like how I've prepped for, I think, most of my trips, and you guys seem to like it. So I wanted to show you guys again before we start with the Euro Summer Vlogs that I'm so excited for. You guys have no idea. I am counting down the days, but yeah gonna stop rambling because my workout class is in an hour so I will see you guys at my workout class workout class is done now I have to rush home it's already 7 I have to rush home and get ready because technically I should leave the house at 8 I don't think it's gonna happen because this is like half an hour away from my house but I should be ready at 8 because the event is at 9 and I have to make sure that I pick up Diney so I'm gonna rush and then show you guys the outfit probably on the way there because I don't know how good I'm going to be with time. But yeah, that's the update. The bar class was insane. Love it every time. It's like, you think you're fit, and then you go to these classes, and you're like, maybe not. <laughs> it was St. Tropez themed, and I loved it. But yeah, it was at B-Cycle. And yeah, now your girl's going to run home. I'm obviously a little late, but I um, had no choice. I'm going to give you a fit check now, because I don't know when I'm gonna give it later. I have to wear sandals because they said there's little sand so you can't like wear heels, which is fine with me. Got the Dior saddle and then this dress, which I'm obsessed with, I bought it like two weeks ago, is Zara. It's a little scandalous, but I taped it down, so it should be fine. And then my makeup is not the best, but you know what? It's gonna have to do Amazon earrings and then Lisa Goslin jewelry. And this is APM Monaco, if you can even see it. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the fit. The sandals are going to be from Zara. And then you guys are going to see the theme is white, silver, and gold. So that's what we're going with. But yeah, I'm going to get going and then I'll see you guys inside. We're going, besties. Is this music from this? Do you hear the music, guys? It's about to be a good night. We're about to recreate our Ibiza trip, guys. Look at this, this whole dome here and then across the water is a dear old downtown Montreal. So last night was iconic, Patron definitely knows how to throw an event. I've been to a few events with them this year and it's always iconic so I already know if Patron invites me to something, it's gonna be blessed. As you guys saw it was like a dome and the whole like I guess ceiling like top of the dome was just the screen and it said Patron and it was changing and I think it was like, anyways it was just iconic and the floor was all sand. So it literally felt like a beach club and then the middle had the bar and the DJ was on top and the music was pretty blessed. It was very much giving like Saint Tropez Euro summer and yeah, like Tulum vibes I think also is what that was all about. But yeah, no, it was iconic. But the thing is, I didn't even know. It's t it was yesterday and tonight and you can like buy tickets to be there and a lot of people were lining up because they bought tickets and... I mean, there was an entrance for like 
Patron's family, which, I, like, I can't believe that's my life, you know what I mean? It's still, like, so shocking to me that I get to be, like, invited to these events, but very grateful. And, yeah, it was just a really blessed time. We took photos. It was pretty packed. It kind of died out at, like, 1. Granted, it wasn't until 2 a.m., but we still had a great time. The music was good. The DJ was good. He... He played good songs, so yeah, that's uh, that's for Patron event. Not that that really has anything to do with our trip prep, but I guess I was there. <laughs> it is a vlog that I'm doing. So yeah, now it is the morning. It's Saturday, and I have to go to about a, a bunch of appointments today. I have laser first, which I'm kind of dreading. I hate the pain of laser, but we're doing legs today, so we should manage, maybe. Um, and then... I have nails and then I have a facial so booked and busy and then I need to go home and like start a rack for what I'm gonna pack because I do leave on Tuesday so yeah now I'm gonna go to laser and I will see you guys after I just finished laser and your girl was dying today I'm not sure why the pain was so intense obviously they up the intensity like every time and I did legs today I have a feeling, like, I don't know if it's correlated, but I have a feeling my muscles were still, like, tense from last night's workout. And they were just, like, jumping. Like, reflexes were definitely reflexing. But, yeah. Now I'm gonna go to nails, which I'm excited for. There's definitely no pain experience. But you know what? I feel like laser is worth it, so that's why I keep going. I think today was, like, my fourth session. But, dear God... Um, but now at least I have a break for the next like month because then I'm gonna do armpits and bikini and then I can't even imagine doing everything in one day I feel like I wouldn't be able to walk after <laughs> but yeah laser is done next is nails and I'm so excited and I'm actually getting colorful nails like the plan is to go for like a pastel yellow with like cute lemons I will show you guys because these have lasted look at this like the growth on them is actually so good for five week old nails this one I was playing with at work and it I removed it but they're very good for five week old nails and I'm sad to let go of the F1 nails but I guess we have to do a little summer theme for Europe but yeah I'll catch you guys at nails Nails are done. I showed them to you guys in the close-up shot, but basically, can you even see a little bit? Um, they're yellow, they have lemons on these two fingers, and they're just very much so giving summer and airy and just bright vibes, which is not normally the nails I go for, you guys know that, but I did really want to have cute nails for Euro summer. Um, and I need to go home and pick up, I have a gift card for my facial and I forgot it, of course. I need to go pick it up. I have like two and a half hours to waste anyways, so I'm gonna go pick it up. And I'm going to this new place called Cara Cara. I have a gift card there, and I'm honestly very excited to try it out. My face is a little meh. Like, if I look dead right now, apologies. I don't have makeup on, and I didn't bother to put on any in the morning because I knew I was going to the facial. But yeah, I need my skin to look a little more alive for my trip, so I'm gonna go, and I'll let you guys know what I think. It's this cute place in Montreal. I've seen a bunch of people that I know like have bond there so I'm excited to try it out and yeah I'm just like I'm just so excited about these nails and um after my facial obviously I'm gonna go home and like start packing so you guys are gonna see more of that but let's go to the facial finished my facial my face looks rough because I had extractions and I mean that's like to be expected but your girl was around Westmount so I came to my favorite like hot girl walk spot and I've talked about it on a video before I think last year but if you don't know it it's in the upper Westmount like where all the big houses are in Montreal if you know what I'm talking about and then there's just a bunch of stairs up until the top of the hill 
and let me tell you i'm already out of breath and i've only done like one row but yeah facial is done and now i'm just gonna do a little walking it's gonna be my exercise for today because i didn't have time to do anything else but yeah this is so my kind of day laser nails facial hot girl walk in westmount looking at mansions i cannot afford that's honestly the vibe but yeah i'm gonna go because i'm gonna sound like i'm dying <laughs> going up the stairs but i will show you guys the top made it to the top i feel like this is always a cute spot to see all of montreal and it's not as crowded as the other like belvedere's but um let me talk to you now that i actually feel alive got my facial at Karakara. I'm pretty sure, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Honestly, I could be wrong, but um, it was the cutest thing. She had her dog and he was like cuddling me. It was iconic. I feel great, like minus the redness where like she like extracted stuff. Granted that was like needed because the last time I got an extraction was like six months ago. So, um, okay, wait, ew, I don't like my face like this. But um, yeah, got that done. And then I went to get a bubble tea at Maison OT. I don't normally go there, but it was the closest one and it's good. So approved and Yeah, I just wanted to walk like I said here and this is always like my spot. I would normally come here with my mom, but she's Not available today, but yeah I made it to the top and I still feel like alive. So let me show you the view instead of my red face you See Montreal looks cute from here But then I will always find a way to complain about the city so yeah oh bubble tea fell over um that's montreal for you and now i'm gonna go walk around some more and then i'm gonna go home and i have to do a bunch of stuff but you guys will see that later but that's my update as of now now that i'm not climbing upstairs and i can speak it's 9 p.m i just got home it's like so late. I'm gonna clean around. I'll spare you guys the montage of cleaning because I mean I have a bunch of cleaning vids on my YouTube channel so you guys can check that out if you want but um, I'll spare you guys that. I need to post stories from the Patron event from last night because I've been running around today and I did not post and I have so many videos. I don't know why I took so many. Now I have to go through like 300 videos and photos from last night and yeah that's gonna take some time. Obviously I'm not gonna have time to pack tonight that's okay, like tomorrow is mainly, I can barely speak, tomorrow is mainly going to be the day for packing and then kind of getting everything situated. I know I need to film a YouTube video tomorrow, so hopefully I can get that done. And then, yeah, that was it for today. It was very Doria coated. I love, it was just like such a girly day and I love that. And yeah, I'm going to go post my stories, clean around and call it a night. So I will... See you guys tomorrow when I who knows what I'll be doing. Tomorrow is Sunday, so it should be pretty chilled out. I don't think I have like plans or anything. So I'm focusing on packing and everything else. And I'm seeing my nails and I love them. <laughs> Anyways, catch you guys tomorrow. I've had such a blessed morning. I was in the pool on that unicorn floating thing for like three hours and I posted on Instagram because I haven't posted in like a week and a half which was pretty rough but every time I wanted to shoot it was like pouring rain outside so unfortunately I couldn't post before but I posted, stayed in the pool, a little burnt but it's okay and <laughs> my face always burns so that is to be expected and then I went to get a new SD card for the camera because storage ran out and I, I'm so happy it ran out now because I honestly would have forgotten about that and then gone on my trip and panicked because there would have been no storage on my old SD card. But yeah, and then I went to Sephora. Let me show you what I got. I Well, I ordered it this morning and then I just picked it up from the store. Um, yesterday when I was at my facial, I was recommended this um, Tower 28, what's it called, SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray. Um, she said that it was, like, it'd be really good for my 
my skin how it is at the moment after the extractions and I got the mini version because I want to travel with it it's so tiny like this is $20 and my whole order was like 40 something bucks I got <laughs> these two things live laugh love makeup this is just a Sephora collection lip liner. Um, I always use these ones because I'm not like that big on lip liners to be honest. I'm not pretentious and like obviously they don't last that long but like they're good enough for what I want. And yeah, I'll let you guys know if this actually does what it's supposed to do because apparently it's really good. But we will see because my face is, uh, is a case. But yeah, that's what I got. I got the SD card and now I'm going to go home. I'm going to... Start. I have so much to do to be honest, but like I just wanted to do nothing this morning. I need to pack, I need to wash some clothes by hand because I'm CEO of buying clothes that required like hand wash and I don't trust our washing machine because things always get shrunk. So um there's no time for that. So I'm gonna go wash them and then start packing and then I think I'm gonna shoot a video of like how I organize my like packing when I I don't know we'll see I was gonna shoot a YouTube video today but um like my summer favorites or like I guess July favorites but I will do that tomorrow and yeah she's booked and busy today but it's crunch time because I leave Tuesday and it's now Sunday 3 30 actually I'm gonna rush home and go watch the final of the Euro Cup um Spain and uh, England and then I'm gonna do everything else but yeah, I'll catch you guys later. So I watched the game. I watched the final. Spain won. I, I didn't even know who I was cheering for, to be honest, but great match. And then I ate a bit, and then I washed the clothes by hand. So annoying, but it's done. <laughs> and then... Now I went to my room and I picked out like everything that I would want to wear hypothetically on this trip. I don't want to pack everything that I put out, but like that's the options. I put them all right there and then now I'm going to go like, because I know I'm staying for two weeks. So I always want a day fit and a night fit. So that's like 14 day fits, 14 night fits. And that's pretty much how I'm going to go about packing. Normally I take photos of the outfits and then I like categorize them by like where i want to wear them i don't know if i'm gonna have time i can't believe it's already 8 p.m it's like very bright on camera but it's like not that bright in real life it's already 8 and i haven't done everything that i wanted to do so that's just great <laughs> um i wanted to edit the video for next week so then i can shoot the next one for next the week after and then edit it tomorrow that did not happen um but yeah hopefully i can edit tomorrow and then schedule it i don't mind if i go to sleep at like 2 a.m and wake up at 6 like i just want it done before i leave so i don't have to bring my computer and yeah let me show you what we're working with we have all of the clothes right here that's from what i shot in my um summer haul and i'm not gonna pack everything there but like most of them are gonna come that's the luggages and then I brought out the mirror so I can take photos. I'm not sure if I'm going to take them today or tomorrow. Um, but yeah, if I can take photos, I will like plan out the whole outfit. So I bring just like exactly what I need. But yeah, this is what we're working with. And hopefully it doesn't take too long. Because I really would love to um, have everything like all the outfits set out all the shoes everything and then tomorrow just like quickly shoot a reel with like pack with me because like every trip i've said i was gonna do it and i never have so um maybe this this time's our chance <laughs> i'm not too hopeful though but um yeah i look like an egg your girl's a bit sunburned but that was to be expected i told you my face always burns and yeah tomorrow i have work obviously so i'm going in and then after, hopefully I can get everything else done. But it wouldn't be a Daria vlog if there's like not some like chaotic all over the place kind of moment. So that's the moment right now. I think I'm gonna start out with the rack and then separate everything into like day and night and then see from the main outfits that I have how many I want 
to keep and then how many I want to add from like the random pile obviously like when I'm there there's like random outfits that just get thrown together when I'm like over it but in theory <laughs> I should have every outfit planned out and I know most of the things that I bought are like good for summer so everything here should be well not everything but most things here should be taken with me so definitely the bathing suits I need to go find more this set for the beach. I think I'm going to stay here. This I'm obviously not bringing. It's the jaded London dress. Um, I'm going away. I didn't even tell you guys. So actually, you know what? I'm going to get into that when I'm like packing, packing. Let me get back to this. Um, I wear that at the Sports Illustrated event and I'm not going to wear it again anytime soon. This is beautiful. The weather is going to be really um, hot. From what I've seen, it's like 109 degrees. Oh my god, this is like so highly exposed. Hold on. Let's fix it. Whoops, wrong way. Okay, let me bring you closer. Um, the weather's gonna be 100 million degrees. This is saved for Vegas, if you guys know, if you've seen my last video, I am saving that for Vegas. Um, so because it's gonna be so hot, I'm just not sure what to bring. Should I even bring the cardigans? Like, am I gonna wear that? I know at night I definitely would, but um, I don't know. Definitely not this. I also can't pack too much because we're going with like so many different airlines. Because we're going on more than one like flight there. So I need to make sure it's like under 20 kilograms and also your girl's obviously going to be shopping so nice obviously i'm going to need to leave a bunch of space for the shopping i don't even know exactly what i want i shouldn't be shopping uh right now like the floor of my bedroom is just a bunch of clothes that i need to donate or sell but uh yeah i just I just love me a little shopping, especially when I go overseas. It's just a different experience. Even the Zara hits different. So definitely want to shop a lot. And I'm going to cities where I feel like there will be great shopping. So um, wish me luck trying to figure out how I'm going to stuff all of this into my bags. Hi besties, it is Monday and your girl went to work and then I came home and then I shot a YouTube vid that I have to edit for when I'm gone and I want to pre like schedule it because I don't want to bring my computer on my trip but um, guess what, everything I edited for this week's, well I guess next week's video last night got deleted because my computer just rebooted and deleted all my footage okay i still have it on camera but like so annoying like i did not have time for this i wanted to like schedule it what i was while i was at work like on my break and it didn't eh, i couldn't so i need to re-edit that tonight and then edit what i shot today thank god it's not videos that need like excessive amount of editing or i wouldn't have been able to do that but yeah i, I edited and it's now 8 p.m and i've had so much to do to be honest your girl feels like I literally bought a coffee from Tim Hortons because so right now I'm running on coffee and vibes I'm like so excited but I just want all of this prep to be like over because I just want to be on the trip at this point but um now I'm gonna actually pack I'll show you guys a bit I again I won't show you like too extensive of a packing vid because you guys have seen it so many times I feel like half of my videos on this channel are packing vids so um again I'll run you through the process Euro summer packing I have a list and then I normally follow that and then yeah I know I don't know like I'm not stressed about packing anymore because I go on like five six trips a year so I feel like that comes with having packed so many times in the last year but let me show you what we're working with so yesterday I packed all of the outfits that I need like last night for these ones are like 14 day outfits 14 night outfits. I don't know why I struggled so hard to find night outfits because normally that's what I thrive in, but there they are. And I have all the shoes. I have sneakers, 
wedge sandals because I don't want to wear like stilettos I, there's really no point in doing that to be honest and then like I guess nicer flip-flop vibes sandals um these ones are kitten heels that I love um I bring them like every summer I feel like it's literally the same shoes that I bring <laughs> on every trip because I genuinely prioritize comfort when it comes to trips especially like ones that I'm actually being a tourist in so these slides um and then flip-flops for the hotel mostly i don't know if i want to use packing cubes but i brought them here in case i do but yeah it's pretty simple i don't want anything crazy and i'm like definitely minimizing everything i can bring because i know i'm gonna shop a lot so let's just be honest um i need to leave a few kilos extra but this goes with bikinis that's bathing suits workout clothes i need to pack more hats and then this is just extras that's like pajamas tote bag underwear bras everything like that swimsuits and then just some basic shorts and skirts basic tops and then yeah i have my um jewelry and stuff in the other room i'll show you that after while i'm packing it but so far this is what we're working with and i think it should fit in my luggage no problem honestly i don't think it's that much i really try to minimize what i'm bringing but let's be honest you never know so um yeah hold on let me go to the floor I'm bringing the big red suitcase that I normally bring on like bigger trips and then I have this Samsonite small one because we're flying with so many airlines like the max is for one of them I think or two is 20 kilos which is big eye roll but <laughs> it's okay I think we'll manage and yeah I don't know if I want to use packing cubes but basically while I figure out what I'm doing let me tell you the plan for the trip because i don't think i've told you yet so i am going to vienna bratislava budapest and then malta i'm going for like two ish weeks i'm so excited so obviously the first part is more like touristic going around like sites museums all that fun stuff and then the second part in malta it's going to be like beach and relaxing and just like recharging and yeah, I'm so excited. This is my first like trip since I started my 9 to 5. And I know I always like bring up my job, but like honestly, it is such a lifestyle change for me because before I used to work, like I guess for myself, I used to do social, not full time, but like I had a part time job. But now that it's full time and I'm really trying to like manage, also I feel like I skipped a video or two a few weeks ago. I apologize. <laughs> um, I'm really trying to like stay consistent, and YouTube is definitely my priority. I feel like I want to push myself even more on youtube than i do on any other platform including instagram even though that's normally my platform but yeah so definitely gonna catch up the videos that i missed i'll post probably two videos for a few weeks um hopefully when i come back but yeah after this i have all of the vlogs it's gonna take a while to you know go through so i think like the next like month if not month and a half it's gonna be trip content which i'm excited my travel vlogs are honestly my favorite videos and i just love that i get to watch my trips uh, like that i'm documenting my life in general i just think it's so fun to look back on and yeah someone recently asked me like don't you think that you're not like living in the moment when you're on your trips because you always have to think about content and i was like honestly no because the fact that I'm consciously thinking like always 24 7 about the content that I have to take I feel like that's how I like see the places I'm at more because I actually stop and like look at the scenery and <laughs> take photos and the fact that I have them on video is just I love it um I like when I watch back the vlogs or when I edit them that's how I mostly remember the trips obviously I would remember like general details but like if I was to compare now it's like when I was younger and traveling I think I've always like traveled a lot but I couldn't tell you specifics from trips from like 2017-18 obviously it was a long time ago but like now that I can watch them back I feel like I'll remember so much more like for example last when I first started I had the um France trip with Anissa and there's so many details that I forgot like this scooter I don't know how I forgot that but for a while I didn't think about it and it was like one of my favorite parts of that trip it was hilarious I was trying to figure out how to write on a scooter and then we got to our airbnb in nice and it has a, it had a washer and then we were trying to wash some of our clothes because it was like our chance to do it after like two weeks abroad 
and we couldn't figure out for the life of us so we literally had to call Anissa's mom and it was hilarious like things like that I wouldn't have remembered if I didn't see them on footage and like reminded myself of what exactly happened so yeah I feel like watching them back and having these videos is so such a blessing to be honest in a few years I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna be cringed out a little bit even the videos that I have from like a week or um, sorry a year ago I um oh my god I uh I'm a little cringed out by them, but I just think it's so cute and such, like, just great to have those memories to look back on. But yeah, so I hope you guys are also excited for the travel vlogs, and yeah, I think that's all I had to catch you guys up on. I think I'm going to pack now, and then I'll check in a bit later i don't know i don't want this to be too much of a rambling video i know if there's been like a lot going on so i know it's gonna be a long video anyways but yeah seeing me pack and talk is, obviously i'm doing a great job i'm like on my floor and not packing at all and just talking to you guys so i am going to and actually pack and then i'll check in with you i don't think i'm gonna have time to pack everything tonight or like i mean i'm gonna try my best because tomorrow i do have to go to work i'm just going for half a day and then I have my flight at around like 6 something. So I do need to get on top of things. And then I need to edit two YouTube videos after this. So um, wish me luck. Hopefully I can do that because I really do want to. So even if I go to sleep at like 3 a.m. and wake up at 7 for work, it is what it is. <laughs> I'll just sleep on my flight or something. But yeah, I'm so excited to take you guys along and roll the packing clips. I'm shocked at how much I had time to do <laughs> like the 20 minutes that I've been here basically packed everything I'm not gonna do packing cubes I'm just gonna do them for like small pieces like undergarments and stuff and then bathing suits because I have a bunch I literally packed one for like every day but I don't know why this is taking up so much space but honestly I feel like I did really good with packing I really hope this isn't heavy but in terms of space it's actually really good like look at this this is obviously not like makeup and stuff but this is actually very decent um, i don't have to sit on it to close it and then this i need to pack and actually like put in here i put all of my favorite pieces in here obviously because i don't want to lose them and everything that i need to shoot like collab wise is obviously in there just because i want to make sure like nothing happens to them and i can shoot them on time but yeah your girl is making very good progress and I'm happy it's 8 45 so i might actually have time to edit everything and not be stressed yay me i packed all the toiletries and i was like you know what i'm not gonna bring a lot tell me how it's four toiletry bags small ones but makeup and skincare really does take up a lot and it's heavy so i'm hoping that my not a lot is actually not a lot I only have shoes left to pack and then like my personal bag, but I'm doing that like later, or, I mean tomorrow. But I want to weigh it to see how heavy it is, so stay tuned. But like, look at this. We have one bag, two bags, another bag, and then another bag. But this is what it's looking like so far. Honestly, there's space left. So I'm going to give my goal, myself a gold star for now. Let me weigh it and then I'll let you guys know if it's actually a gold star or if it's a total L. How is it 20 kilos? Is it? That's rude. Mission Loki failed because it's max 20 kilos and I'm at 19.8. It's okay. I'm going to try to take out like two or three kilos and then we should be fine. Okay. So if I take out the bathing suits and the wedges. I'm at 18.20 so you know what I'm gonna take that as a win <laughs> the small one is like one kilo overweight it's like nine kilos instead of eight um, so I'm just gonna take all my shoes and put them in my personal bag and your girl is done <laughs> a win is a win I guess <laughs> I know for a fact I'm gonna struggle to come back it's a problem for another time <laughs> it's 
really not my concern at the moment as long as everything like gets there i'll figure it out at the airport and it's not like overweight obviously like we're still managing but yeah i think i think for tonight a win is a win i'll try to see tomorrow what it is but yeah for tonight i'm just gonna go edit the two videos and then yeah honestly it's gonna take me a while so that's the plan for tonight i will so there's no point of me vlogging so i'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow like real quick before i leave give you a last update and that's gonna be the end of this video i'm so tired guys <laughs> i don't know if you can tell but i'm like slowly crashing out so i'm gonna stop talking and i'm gonna go edit while i still have some energy left in my soul